Okay, so let's just tack down. I don't want lots of glue. Just so it holds. Okay, and now I'm going to literally draw. Now, Eric's got some only small lines. You know, he's a handsome young chap, but there's uh, there's the the basically the information's there to tell me, you know, how this face is going to age. So I'm going to just draw those in. Oop, gone through the plastic slightly there. the other side of my Sharpie. And piece, it's not going to be the biggest piece, I'm just going to come here. Now, the eyes, I'm going to use some old age stipple. So, okay. It's a bit awkward slightly because I'm working, I'd be in front of the camera if I was going to be directly on, so I'm just at the side slightly. But that kind of looks like what I want. I'm just going to put some little kind of hash shapes which are going to dictate where the thickest part of the sculpture needs to be. You know, there's different ways of drawing it. I mean, you can do it like contours on a map, you know, where you get the tighter circles to show that's a higher point. But that's pretty much going to be what a map out for my prosthetic. Um, so I'm going to do a stronger line here, increase the line there, just increase the depth in the, in the nasal fold there. Put a little bit of weight there to just pronounce the, the cheekbone. Um, yeah. That's the, the shape of the piece. So I'm going to just gently peel that off. So well, just before I do that, put an R. So I also know which way round this is. It's very easy once you peel them off to forget which way round it was. There we go. So that's one. I'm going to turn you around. We're going to do the same on the other side. Okay, cheers. Now this whole idea of using the plat, it really comes from um, doing wigs, when they do wig wraps, which is just wrapping the, the head form to create the head shape for a wig base. And just a very simple idea. Save some materials. Okay. So again, just following the natural lines there. Okay, and L. The left. And then the next one we do is the forehead. Have a small forehead. So we just move the hair out the way. And again, a few dots for the glue. Yeah, it'd be good. It would help. If you can just put a hand on there. Thank you. Just a couple more dots of adhesive again. Now, on the forehead here, it's going to be good to mark the hairline to make sure I'm not going to overlap and go outside the hairline. The eyebrows. Because again, I don't want an edge to end up in the middle of an eyebrow. Now, I can see through here, Eric has some natural lines starting to form. Obviously, the Botox didn't work. 
So I'm going to draw those in because I want my lines to match up. And basically, Okay, so that's my three pieces. I'm also going to do a little uh, neck bottle. But it's going to be a very fine little piece, so I'm not even going to bother with the tracing. I don't really need that much information. Um, and that's it. So that's the face, all the pieces I need off the face at this stage. You can get, you know, as, as kind of advanced as you want with that drawing. You know, you can go in and really spend time and virtually sketch in a whole prosthetic. Um, but, you know, in, in principle, that will be enough to kind of get me going. 